An extremely important discovery might be lost among the after-debate autopsy. Some partially declassified notes cited by Director of National Intelligence John Ratliff in a letter to Senator Lindsey Graham concerning a briefing in September 2016. It's all about Russian intel finding Hillary Clinton was trying to tie then-candidate Donald Trump to Russia in order to distract from her own email scandal. Democrats are dismissing this action by Ratliff as pure politics. But a very dependable source, Catherine Herridge, says CBS News was told that investigator John Durham turned up the notes and that they, quote, opened a new track in his probe, end quote. This may be what Senator Graham was referring to a few days ago when he was on Sunday Morning Futures with Maria Bartiromo when he was asked about upcoming revelations. Can you imagine if the shoe were on the other foot? that if the Republicans had done this. So Maria, there's a day of reckoning coming. Just stay tuned. And there's more coming. Okay. There's, a, there's something else coming, more damning than this, believe it or not. Of course, this lends even more credence to what I've been saying for a long time. When it comes to corruption, all roads lead to Hillary Clinton. This thing just keeps getting deeper, and that's why the investigation never seems to end. But it will end eventually. And Americans deserve to know as much as possible, but they deserve to know it now. Ratcliffe declassified three pieces of information for Graham. The first was that in the summer of 2016, the CIA asked the FBI to investigate Hillary's plan to stir up a scandal against Donald Trump when he was running against her for president. In late July of 2016, before the election, U.S. intel obtained insight into this plan, which was to tie Trump to Putin and the so-called hacking of the DNC emails. The second piece of information was that then CIA Director John Brennan briefed President Obama and other senior national security officials on this intelligence, including the alleged approval by Hillary Clinton on July 26 of 2016 of a proposal by one of her foreign policy advisors. This was all to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming there was interference by Russian security services. The third piece, that was an investigative referral dated September 7, 2016. It was sent to then FBI Director Jim Comey and then FBI Deputy Assistant Director of Counterintelligence Peter Strzok regarding, quote, U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's approval of a plan concerning U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump and Russian hackers hampering U.S. elections as a means of distancing the public from her use of a private email server. I hope you got all that. I know it's a, kind of a mouthful, but note the wording. It doesn't actually say the plan was a made-up scandal. One could read this and think Trump really was involved with Russian hackers, even though there was no evidence of this, none. Ratliff wrote to Graham, I quote, additional declassification and public disclosure of related intelligence remains under consideration. However, the IC intelligence community welcomes the opportunity to provide a classified briefing with further details at your convenience, end quote. I'm sure we're gonna have more updates soon. I assume Lindsey Graham has received or will soon receive that briefing. But one big question I hope he's going to be able to answer. Whatever happened to that referral? At the time, Peter Strzok was just wrapping up the mid-year exam, a cursory look at Hillary's criminal use of a permanent email server for all her State Department work, and he must have laughed at the idea of opening another investigation on her. They were going to be much too busy investigating Donald Trump. For now, I guess the answer to that question is still classified. But we do know that Hillary did precisely what these documents are talking about. She and the DNC were the ones who, through an intermediary law firm, hired Christopher Steele to come up with a Trump-Russia dossier. Apparently, the CIA, President Obama, other senior national security officials, and the FBI were all aware of Hillary's scheme in late July of 2016. And they should have been investigating that. Instead, they used her phony dossier 
a dossier we now know was as faulty a legal evidence as could be, and they use it against Donald Trump. It also occurs to me that this is just one more piece of information that the FBI had concerning the dossier that they hid from the FISA court. They all knew about the political motivations, not only on the part of Steele, but on the part of Hillary. And they still went after Donald Trump. They should have been looking at Hillary, and they knew it. The one part of this that really raises my eyebrows is the briefing that John Brennan gave to President Obama. Knowing what we know about Brennan, I can't help but think that they were meeting to see how could they keep the intel about Hillary's plan under wraps while actually helping to further it, particularly as it concerned the DNC hacking. Again, we have no factual evidence that the Russians hacked the DNC. Try as the Democrats might attempt to blame them. Julian Assange from the WikiLeaks still has not revealed his source, but he has been adamant that it was not the Russian state. Now, there's also reason to suspect that it was an inside job. That's right, not a hacking, but a leaking. Regarding the Steele dossier, Rick Grinnell, who was the acting DNI before Ratcliffe was confirmed, had this to say to Liz McDonald on Fox Business News. The many warning signs were ignored. If we would have been able to see the full package of the information, um, instead of having it uh, really edited down and, and pushed into a direction that the head of the FBI clearly wanted it to go in, uh, I think most people would have come to the same conclusion that Russian propaganda from the beginning had infiltrated into the Steele dossier. Grinnell went on to cite the release of President Trump's tax information just the previous day as an example of the bureaucracy being weaponized against people they don't like. If one of your enemies goes to work inside the government, they can use those tools against you. And there is nothing you can do about it, he said. Well, that's exactly what happened to Donald Trump. And even today, there must be millions of low-information Americans who still believe that he conspired in some way with Russians in order to become president. No one knows how to use and abuse the tools inside government like Hillary. She may have lost the election, but her twisted fictional narrative endures. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing to the channel below. And I hope you'll click the notification bell. Leave a like and leave a comment and share this video as well if you really enjoyed it. By the way, if you want more of my news analysis and commentary, sign up for my newsletter at MikeHuckabee.com. It's completely free. Well, that's it for this edition of The Breakdown. I'm Mike Huckabee.